I think the two, I personally think the two females know each other. So it was treated, it was thought at the time that Brandon was possibly moving away from one female and more interested in another and Mm -hmm. possibly a jealousy situation. But I think the two females know each other and that was never really looked at. And I think the one female that called from Virginia was talking to the female from South Carolina on Brandon's phone. What about what? Do you have any idea of what she would possibly want to call that person for? Now, do you mean you think um, you, they knew each other in a good way or like like collaborated together or the jealousy? I, I, I hate you. It was either it was no, not a jealousy thing. It was either a collaboration or um possibly one covering for the other somehow Hmm. you know I but I think it was more of like I think it was together Mm -hmm. and then her maybe calling and checking on the status of the cleanup or something like that which you know this is my speculation right I don't have proof of that but that's what I'm working toward and there is some kind of roundabout proof but I I can't really talk about that yet but I do think they know each other so the um the female from South Carolina um can I say her name or should I not say her name what do you think um I wouldn't say her name just just say her face and don't get you in any situation okay um the female from South Carolina Mm -hmm. contacts my Mm daughter-in-law and she sends this long message to my daughter-in-law and basically it's like she's validating herself that she was Brandon's girlfriend because he hadn't really told us about her. He did earlier in the year told his sister that he was seeing a girl, but she's from Russia and she's going to be leaving and going back to Russia. So he didn't think it was going to go anywhere. Right. So that was back in February. Um, So she's the one that contacted, sent this very long message. She knew all about Brandon. Um, And I thought, well, she's got to know something. She's got to know who his friends were, who might have went to his apartment, where he had been. And so I called the police and I told them about this female. So this was before the search warrant even come back. And I don't think that they, I don't think they contacted her right away. I think they did not contact her until the search warrant came in. Okay. so, um, so I start talking to her and cause I'm like, she knows something. And then as I start talking to her, the weirder it gets. And I end up after t- about two weeks of talking to her, I go into the police and I'm like, she's a pathological liar. I told them that she has all of the symptoms of a psychopath. And I said, she really reminds me of a serial killer, to be honest. Mm-hmm. And narcissist. yes, she was narcissistic. Um, but I will also say this, that even when she was pathologically lying, there would be these shreds of truth to what she would say. So I was always trying to decipher what you know, go through everything and, and find out which parts were true. Mm-hmm. Right. So can you, so the, she, the she, example she, of the, uh, the person who she talked to at Brandon's apartment, right? His neighbor, right? 